right, so I figured I'd do a video on this. It's growing, it's just not growing real hardcore this year. Normally this plant gets very big. This is called asparagus pea. This is a picture of the flower. And basically it produces these pods. I'm going to pick one right now for you. It produces these, these pods. And you don't eat the whole pod. You have to open these up, which I'm going to have to do with my fingers. I don't think I could do it with one hand. I have to, I have to open it and then come right back. I'll be right back. So I opened it up. These particular ones aren't really totally ripe to where I would pick them and eat them. They, they, these little things you see right here, these little peas in here, they turn darker in color. And I eat them when they get a little darker. But I don't eat the whole pod, so I don't know if you can eat the whole pod or not. I haven't. But normally when they get a little riper, I pick them when they're riper and I eat them when they're a little darker in color. You're not going to eat this like and make a meal out of it. It's a nice little snack or something to forage on while you're in the garden. You might want to break a few open and eat them. But these aren't ripe yet. And it just looks like it was the biggest pod on the plant. But I'll eat these two little ones and see if I can get a taste out of it. Generally, when they're small and green like this, they're kind of flavorless. You're not going to get you're not going to get a, the original flavor that I'm used to from these particular pods. They do give you a very distinctive flavor. If you've ever eaten chicken gumbo by Campbell's in a canned soup, and you see them little round pea things in there, I believe that's what these are asparagus peas now I'll leave the correct botanical name in the description and the link and the title and all that stuff but I believe that's what is in the Campbell's chicken gumbo soup you will see those little pea things in there and that's the only thing that I've ever seen that looks like these I have to wait till they're ripe and maybe I'll do an update or a garden walkthrough and I'll show you what they look like when they're ripe and I'll open them up I, I'm not going to make like a part two to this and show you me doing a taste test again. Now I'm just this is it's it's just too much. But let me taste these. Yeah, there's not much flavor when they're green. They really got to turn dark, and this was like the biggest one on there. Inside that pod, you'll probably you normally end up with about six little peas in there. They're very tiny. They're not very big, so you'd have to eat a lot of them. But again, that's what the pod looks like where it comes out. That's the flower, okay? And then the profile of the plant, generally, this plant grows like a spider along the ground. It really spreads out across the ground like this, and it gets a lot bigger. But you can see there's a big amaranth growing right out of the middle. I should really pull that out and cut it down and let my asparagus pea come out because I got plenty of amaranth growing around there. So maybe I'll throw this in my salad tonight. I'm not sure. It just looks pretty in the garden because I got all these other vegetables blended in nicely. But these will get pretty big if you let them grow by themselves. They'll spread out pretty far. They'll cover like a three-foot patch and just like put tons of these little pods out. You pretty much, like I say, I don't eat these pod outside parts. I just open them and I eat what's on the inside. I don't know if you could eat the pods. It, the, the pod in your mouth is kind of weird. It's kind of got like a fuzz on it and all that. So it's not going to be something you're going to be like going out of your way to like start munching pods. But the peas on the inside is what I eat. Now you might be able to eat the leaves, I'm sure. You know, it's not a poisonous plant or nothing. But I generally just eat the little peas on the inside of the pod. I don't really grow this very often. I just grow it for a novelty pretty much. Or like now I'm, I grew it this year for a so I could review it for you and show you what the plant looks like. But, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about it, you know. But you can see how it spreads itself along the ground like that. And, and it throws out all these tendrils and then they grow up. And it'll keep doing that. It'll get big. If you dedicate that plant by itself in your garden, it'll spread out pretty big. But, again, do you want to lose two square feet of your garden for something like this? You know, that's why I threw it here. And I, I, you know, be honest with you, I'd rather have the amaranth, the leaves, because these are very edible and they go good in the salad. But here there's really nothing to eat, really, except those little tiny little peas. So, like I say, it's more of a novelty than anything. You might even want to call it a field pea or a cow pea. 
nevertheless, it's fun to grow. If you see them, you can pick them up. They're easy to grow. But they do take a little while to develop a root system and all and get big. But once they do, they'll... Yeah, they'll grow huge, believe me. These, this plant will, can take up easily a two-foot by two-foot area, like a big spider, you know? Just a big, flat thing that grows up, and you'll have these pods all over it. But again, there's really not much to eat off it. So, All right, so I figured I would show you the asparagus pea and did a little taste test, and maybe in the future videos I will uh, show you what they look like in a garden tour once they mature, I'll open one of them up and I'll show you what they look like. When they get really mature, they harden up like a pea. So you don't want to wait till they're that far. But you want to get them when they're at least brown. All right. And the green ones, they're really not no flavor to them. So like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.